Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another Clash Royale video. And this is going to talk about Hollywood Shono still dominating higher level noobs as oftentimes I run into opponents that are one to two levels above me. So we're going to share a bunch of replays for you guys to critique. We have the first replay which I did earlier at work against a Chinese dude in the clan Gaius from YouTube Shona. As you guys know, my lower level account does have the same deck. This guy is a level 8 and my level 7 is in Arena 5. So you can see right off the bat he's got the Hog Rider and the Barbs. So we start with a big P.E.K.K.A on the left. Here he's got the Hog Rider and he drops off Barbs with it. So we're trying to cycle back to our free spell. Unfortunately, we don't hit it, so we're going to have to throw out the Bomber. This is going to be a lot of damage on our tower. And the Bomber is only hitting one. The Spear Goblin's doing some work on it, so down goes the first tower pretty easily. Throws minions, and we have archers to help counter that. So the minions go down. There's the P.E.K.K.A. hitting right on the tower. Spear Goblins are not going to be able to do that much. And unless he plays something, we should get this first tower. Yes, we do. So he plays a Wizard in the back. We play some Barbs that are going to get shredded by that wizard. We have not revealed our free spell yet, so he has no idea that we have it. So those wizards are going to get melted. He does get one shot off. So there's some spear goblins. We're going to place the wizard. And that was actually a really good play because he placed the minion, so we got an additional three elixir off of that wizard. Very good. So that pretty much made up for the debacle with the barbs. So we're going to place a big P.E.K.K.A. in the back. Now, usually you want to place a P.E.K.K.A. in the back unless they pump up, in which case if you can afford something else, you can also put a P.E.K.K.A. in the front. I generally like to put it in the back because it allows for bigger pushes. Here he puts barbs. We're going to place our bomber right by the tower. That's going to shred those barbs. Now to pull the wizard away, we're going to use a mini P.E.K.K.A. So mini P.E.K.K.A. trades favorably with the Barbarians and the bomber takes out all the bars. So we're going to play some archers in front. Unfortunately, one of them hits against the king tower, but we're going to keep one. So there's the bomber. We're going to place our wizard to get rid of the minions. So now this guy's in big trouble. He has no idea of our freeze card. So he places the hog rider. We freeze. He tries to zap. Slow him down, and that is an easy game. Hollywood Shono gets the victory against a higher level 8. Alright, so in our next replay, we have the Royal Giant J.O. against French Team. And this guy is a level 9. We are in Arena 8. And he gives the thumbs up. And you can see he's got a troll deck right away. You got Valkyrie, which does really good against Barbs. But we're going to place a big P.E.K.K.A., which does not do very well against the big P.E.K.K.A. Valkyries do not do very well against it. So there's the Hog Rider. We're going to place the mini P.E.K.K.A. behind the Valkyrie. Valkyrie goes down. There goes the Hog Rider. So he places a Bomber and a Wizard. Mini P.E.K.K.A. goes down. Bomber gets a shot off on the Wizard. Wizard goes down. So somehow the P.E.K.K.A. goes down. The Freeze really didn't work there. And the Fire Spirit's not going to do much. Might get a shot off. No, it does not. Alright, so we know he's got the Hog Rider. We do have enough Elixir for Barbs if we need to use it. it looks like he's playing the waiting game. Looks like he's ready in the Royal Giant, so there it is. So we're going to place Barbs. He's got a Bomber, unfortunately. That's going to be really bad for us. We place our Bomber. Unfortunately, it targets the Royal Giant. We place Archers down to get rid of that Bomber, so that did not work so well. Bomber is really good against a lot of stuff. Give it a try. So, Archer's doing a little chip damage on that tower. It's about even. He is a little bit ahead by about 200, but he is a level 9, and we're only a level 8. There's the Valkyrie again. We're going to place the big P.E.K.K.A. again. Now, this is a huge commitment. He can use the Hog Rider at this point. I believe he does not, and I think that's a mistake. So, his Elixir is full. He's just sitting on Elixir. There's the Hog Rider. He places it way in the front. That was really dumb. So we're going to place our barbs. We're going to place a mini P.E.K.K.A. 
But we're gonna place it opposite sides, and the reason for that is he can distract one side, he definitely can't distract the other. So there goes one tower. We're gonna freeze. That mini Pekka is gonna take the second tower easily. And I think he just quit at this point, so he didn't drop anything else. There's the second tower easily. Mini Pekka is gonna come in, and that tower is done, though. Down goes this French guy who got dominated at a level 9, getting beat by a level 8. Three to nothing. So in our third replay, we have Giant, Sparky, and Miner. And this guy is a level 10. Alright, so we start off with our big P.E.K.K.A. Now the best way to counter a Sparky is obviously to freeze it and then throw barbs on it. Usually it works really well. Here he throws a Giant in the very back. And what do you throw at Giants? A Sparky. So we have two options here. Either we can reinforce the P.E.K.K.A., which we do, or we can just let Sparky do its work. Because it's so far in the back, and also he places a wizard of his own. So he kind of has the same concept. So once we get to 9 Elixir, we're going to freeze before it gets to the tower. We're going to let the Giant do its work. We get the first tower easily. Sparky and the wizard getting dominated. It does not get a shot off on the barbs. The barbs take out that wizard. There's a minion horde dropped right on that. So arrows down all those minions, and he does not get the first tower. So he zaps the barbs, kind of unnecessary. We place the archers for some chip damage. Really important so we can try to get towards that second tower. So there is the princess. And why do you play it? There's a miner. Mini Pekka is going to not be able to stop him from getting that tower, but takes it down. And the Mini Pekka is going to take out the Princess easily, although he could Fireball it, although I don't see why he would. So we're going to freeze. No, we don't. A little bit late on that freeze. But a little reactionary there. He gives the crying face taunt. Keep in mind you're a level 10. You shouldn't be crying. So he places a Giant and something else behind. I think it's just the Giant and the Wizard. So he places the Barbs just to kill that Wizard off in one shot. Because it's a level 10 takes him out really easily. So the barbs hack it away at that giant. There's the minion horde. We're just going to arrow it down. All the barbs are still up, and if we can cycle up to our P.E.K.K.A., it's game over. Uh, we can just throw off our mini P.E.K.K.A. I don't know why we threw it that way, and there's some archers. Looks like we're going for the three crown. Our freeze is ready. There is the miner, and the P.E.K.K.A. stays alive. That's really big. And because of that, the mini P.E.K.K.A. gets the three crown against a level 10. And when you're a level 10, you should not be getting 3 crown by level 8. You suck. So on our next replay, we have Hog Zap and Fireball against Kizox from Clash of Sparta. So another troll cycle deck. It does have the mini P.E.K.K.A. But archers and barbs can shut it down pretty easily. Here we place some archers in the back. He places Spear Goblins. We're going to place our big P.E.K.K.A. So he has to place a Mini P.E.K.K.A. on Fire Spirits. I don't know the whole point of that. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to get hit by those minions. So it doesn't look like they're going to get the shot off. A little bit of chip damage, however, on the tower. So that's okay. Drops off his Hog Rider. That's going to give him time to get the Fireball. There's the Spear, the little Stabby Goblins. No fireball. Because of the stab goblins, you can't do that. So there's a mini P.E.K.K.A. as well. Fireball connects, but the mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to get a shot off on the tower. And no point really freezing there. There's the fire spirits get split in the back. That's actually not a good play. You kind of want them together so it does more to the tower as they got one shot there. So definitely not high enough fire spirits to survive getting one shot. So we're going to play some archers in the back, and we're going to keep going with the P.E.K.K.A. here. We know that he has minions, so we're going to have to try to get a wizard out at some point. And as you can see by the level 3 P.E.K.K.A., we don't have the level 4 P.E.K.K.A. yet. This was fights from a couple days ago, so that tower is pretty much gone. I don't know how he can react. I think he quit at this point. P.E.K.K.A. gets the first tower. Yeah, he, I think he gave up at this point. Pekka is going to hack away and an easy three crown against a level nine. See ya, goodbye. All 
All right, so next up we have a couple more three crown victories. We have Arnon, who is, I believe, a level nine. Yep. Hog, Zap, Mini P.E.K.K.A., Minion Horde, Stab Goblins. Pretty much what people use in a troll deck. Wanting to use the Hog Rider. So here we're sitting full licks. We're going to use Archers. Kind of waiting to see what he's going to deploy. Looks like he's going to go for Mini P.E.K.K.A. There's the Minion Horde. We're going to freeze that Horde so we can get a shot on the tower. Big value on those Goblins. That was seven Elixir off an arrow there. Tries to throw barbs on that one Archer, and we're just going to use the Bomber. Well played, sir. Positive two Elixir. Positive, like, five Elixir from those arrows. And we're going to go with Archers again. Go for more chip damage on this tower. We did reveal the freeze. There's the mini P.E.K.K.A. And we're going to have to use our defense. So he throws down the Hog Rider. He's going to get some damage. Luckily, only one shot on our P.E.K.K.A. But more than likely, he can just throw goblins, and that's it for that. I believe he zapped the right tower. So that right tower is in pretty bad shape, but his left tower is going down. So now we're going to have to change lanes, possibly, and go to the left side. But we're going to wait for 10 elixir, because we know he has that minion horde. I believe he has not seen a wizard yet. So we're going to kind of wait. And this is very important when places a bunch of stuff. You always want to save. That elixir pump is really bad. You're not winning. So there's Barbs. We're going to place both the Wizards and the Bomber. And that all survives. So Mini P.E.K.K.A. goes down. And we freeze the tower so the P.E.K.K.A. stays up and there's the first crop. We throw Archers in with it for extra damage. So here he throws a Hog Rat. I think at this point he realizes he's done. And... There's the three crown. The wizard gets the final shot there. And we give the thank you because you suck. Stop getting beat by lower level players. So next up we have three nothing against Jorge PN using the Sparky Giant with a Rage. And which, as you guys know, Giants do work really well with Witches, Sparky, and even Balloons. Since it is a heavy troop and... Archers could get distracted on the giant instead of the balloon. So it gives the cry face. Keep in mind this guy is a level 10. So places the giant sparky left side. So here we place archers in the back. There's one shot. Giant goes down. Mini P.E.K.K.A. takes the fire there. Bomber stays up. Look at that value on the Bomber. Gets off another shot, and that Sparky is not going to do any damage to our tower. Here he throws Barb. We have to wait until the Sparky goes down. Now we can place our Wizard, and those Barbs are going to be in trouble. Yes, sir. It's going to get a couple hits on the tower, but not a big deal. So, guys, this is a level 10 we're dominating as a level 8. Here we throw Barbs as reinforcement. And you can't place a minion there. I don't know what he's going to do. He places a pump. That's a bad pump. You do not place a pump when you're losing. There is the minions. They're going to take out that. We're going to arrow that down. And the barbs are going to get the first tower. We're probably going to get some good hits on this pump. And he's crying. He knows he's in bad shape. We're going to freeze so those barbs can get more damage on that tower. Hitting for about 180 a shot. So we got that tower down to 2478 already. There was a giant. Looks like he's going to try the same thing, but keep in mind, once you take a tower, this does not work as well. Because you can place garbage in the front, and then have a mini P.E.K.K.A. just rain hell on it. This is why this level 10 is so far down. So there's the mini P.E.K.K.A. after the Sparky shoots. Mini P.E.K.K.A. takes out the bomber, and he's mad. He plays barbs to deal with the giant. And we do get the freeze off, and the P.E.K.K.A. stays alive. Down goes a level 10. 3-0 by Hollywood Shona. Well played. Respect. You were two levels higher, and you got destroyed. No respect there. TNT 69, get fucked. 
All right, so next up we have a 3-1 victory against Resk 46 from Oreo Donut. All right, so we have a really good starting hand for countering attacks. This is really good because we got the big P.E.K.K.A. And he places a giant on the right side. And he throws a bomber along with archers. So we throw our mini P.E.K.K.A. Now the interesting thing here is we freeze. And the reason for that freeze is so the mini P.E.K.K.A. can kill all of that stuff. Bomber goes down. So that is 11 elixir worth of stuff dealt with for about 7. Actually 8 if you count the freeze. Now this P.E.K.K.A. is not going to be able to do well. We didn't know what this guy had. We had to counter that giant. So at this point we're in pretty bad shape. But we know that he has, you know, witch and giant. Throws another giant down. Yeah, that witch is going to do some work. We have to cycle back to our P.E.K.K.A. And there's the bomber again. Pretty good setup here. He's got a lot of ground splash. Have to use the barbs to kill all that stuff quickly. And he is going to get the tower because of the skeletons. Very good there. So we kind of just have to reset to our P.E.K.K.A. and wizard. And we have to watch for a mistake. So there's Barb. So instead of the P.E.K.K.A. we have to play the wizard first. Places a witch. Now at this point we kind of have to consider the mini P.E.K.K.A. just to get rid of the witch. Before it becomes a problem. And there's the spear goblins. The, because the wizard's hitting all this stuff we're just going to have to let it reset. We can't really do anything about it. But we know he doesn't have a lot of air. I don't, don't think he has any air. We don't know the rocket at this point. So there's another giant. We're going to use a P.E.K.K.A. in the back. And there's a bomber. So you guys saw the freeze earlier. There's some archers too. So we're basically going to do the same thing. He's going to try to bomber giant and archers. We throw our bomber down to get rid of his bomber. The bomber goes down, but the archers stay up. But we're going to use our wizard. And there's a witch to deal with the P.E.K.K.A. This time we do have our splash out for the P.E.K.K.A. We also throw some barbs since we haven't seen a kill card. Those barbs are going to get shredded quickly. And there isn't much he can do here. Tries to rocket the P.E.K.K.A. That doesn't work. And we get the first time. We also get a freeze. I think we we're trying to freeze the Spear Goblins too. So a bomber against the Wizard. I do have a lot of respect for this deck other than the rocket. And we're getting a lot of damage on that tower. Those barbs do take out the mini P.E.K.K.A. And the Wizard is going to get some value on these barbs. Look, he's going to shred all the barbs and get another hit on the tower. So there's a rocket. At this point, I thought we were in big trouble. Because there was the second rocket. So that tower is at 101 health. All he really has to do is cycle back to the rocket. And this match is over with. So there's a bomber. So he's playing kind of like I do. A heavy unit with a lot of splash. We freeze. That way we can get our P.E.K.K.A. up in there. He's doing a really good job learning our troop. Level 10 arrows. Those barbs are going to shred that P.E.K.K.A. So we place a mini P.E.K.K.A. He places Spear Goblins trying to go for that chip damage. So at this point, he's not even thinking about the rocket here. I think he's just worrying about counter pushing. I don't even. Th he probably could have got away with a rocket there. I really do. So we have a wizard and a bomber. Now this is crucial. We freeze there. The bomber locked onto the tower, and we get the super close three crown. I really thought we were going to lose that fight, but well played. Hollywood Shono ends up beating that guy. Holy crap, that was close. So if you liked this video on Hollywood Shono still shredding higher level noobs in Arena 5 and 8, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Clash Royale videos, playlists, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono, and have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shono. Subscribe, bitches! <laughs>